This roof has had a couple of repairs on it, as you can see. Over time, 17 years old. Not ready for replacement. Them pitch hoppers are amazing. I love them. Set your tools on them, your supplies on them. Lean the ladder on one to keep it off the edge of the shingles. It's amazing. Feel comfortable sitting on them up there, don't you, Paul? Oh, yeah. You ain't going nowhere. No. That's how you use a pitch hopper. And he could actually set them up as steps and go all the way to the top of the roof. They've got a nail up there somewhere. Huh? Staple, is that what it was? So staple caused that whole problem to start with. So do you reckon they stapled the plywood on, Paul? Yep. Really? So this is a manufactured home, you think? That's what this is, isn't it? Manufactured home. With a garage built out next to it. Interesting. We had a shingle that apparently came apart. Um, and he's just replacing that one shingle. That looks so much like the other ones, it ain't funny. It's almost a perfect match. Yeah, that's a beautiful match. They called me out here, wanted an estimate to replace the whole entire roof, but also told me that it was a 17 year old roof. And I, although there's been a repair or two on it, I cannot imagine replacing a 17 year old roof when this is absolutely an architectural 30 year shingle and I'm guesstimating around here 25 to 27 years easily. Uh, I wouldn't want to throw away 10 years worth of roof. So I knew they needed a repair and possibly a roof cleaning, which is something we also do. You can easily move around on these pitch hoppers. And as you can see, he's, he's up there quite a bit. He could walk all the way to the top of that roof, though, with four pitch hoppers pretty easily. I'm actually going to buy some more. I, I would like to have about six of them. Two more ought to be nice. Yes. Renail the shingle. He brought Lexel caulking up there with him so he can make sure that tab is glued down because the glue strip that you loosen up when you take a shingle off is pretty much not gonna work again. So you're gonna have to use some of your own caulking. I like Lexel, L-E-X-E-L-L, -L, Lexel. I'm a fan of it. If you loosen a shingle up, you're gonna have to use something to tighten it back down, yeah. No, no. So you're gonna have to caulk that down real good. You're gonna be in good shape. Really? I wonder if they did the whole house like that. <laughs> you could probably check.
Pitch Hopper 101. Tell me how cool that is. Trust you and I do, though. <laughs> Maybe you get used to them, man. You're there, Paul. Got a little piece of vinyl sticking out up there. We want to put a nail in the top of it. Right there. That top one up above it. It's coming loose. Pitch hopper, baby. What do you call those things? Pitch hopper. Pitch hopper. Or a pitch, a big pitch roof. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pitch you can nail it below, just below the drip. Came out from behind it? Oh. Remailing the fascia. It's hot up there, Paul? Oh, yeah. You feeling the heat? Oh, yeah. Hot and steepness. You need to nail one above that. Oh, he wants to get another one. Yeah, right there. That's all. That's as far as you have to get. Right to your left hand. Yep. They didn't make it tall enough, did they, Paul? Nope. That's what that was. You told me to don't overlap enough. Huh? You told me to don't overlap enough. Yeah, the metal doesn't go up far enough underneath the drip edge. Uh -oh. It's a little short. So. When it comes loose like that, see, they were depending on that to hold it in okay. at the top without the nail. So they nailed it at the bottom, not the top. And when it came out, Ooh, both came loose. yes. Yeah, see that? See, it's not under it. It's pulling it, making, pulling that, the, the drip edge came over the top of it. Did they do that in, in in the first place, or what did they do, Paul? Why why would it even be like that? all the way to the top? That's just silly. And it was, a little edge. It yeah, like yeah. Oh yeah, it's down below you for sure. There you go. Oh, another six inches. There you go. No, Probably not when he was younger. No, not at all. I just know nowadays I wouldn't be able to get up there and come back down. No. <laughs> his, knee, his knees are shaking right now, Paul. Oh, yeah? Yeah, watching you. I was raised on a dairy farm, and we had silos that you put chopped up corn in and feed to the cows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, I couldn't climb up anymore than him. But see, what I do tell you is you had to climb up and put the pipe up to blow the corn <laughs> yeah. up. And you, all you got is those little rocks, and you just shimmy your little butter around them. That's what you do. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I can't do that. No. You see, I could do it. I understand how they work with foam yeah, crafts. Yeah. Don't go away about it. You won't go nowhere. As long as you stand on it flat, you know. As long as I said the weight's what makes it secure. Yes. Yep. They're they're nice. Pitch hoppers are amazing. Work your way up the roof. Work your way right back down. I bet some crazy guy invented those things. Um, I tell you what, well, he might be crazy, but he's rich. No, I, well, I, if he got he the money, he so probably rich. sold it to somebody else. And yeah, he told somebody else. Pitchhopper.com, like, baby, they are rich. Himself. Some roofer thought of it. No, somebody else made the they money. They are out. rich. I love them. I use them. I use them on every job we do with it steep like that. All right, so what we got going on here is, and it's a very high pitch roof, as you can see, the fascia metal. This came out from behind the gutter. I mean, uh, the drip edge. So we have to pull that drip edge back out, push that metal back up under, and put some nails in that fascia, and hopefully keep that from happening again. It happened during a storm. But in order to get there, it's a long ways up. What you're gonna wanna have, and somebody that really is comfortable in walking on them, is the pitch hopper i love this product i'm telling you i really do pitch hopper 
this is uh, not 100% safe. You don't have a rope, you know, so don't just jump up on the thing and not know how to use these things. You want to put your weight in the center of it or, you know, in this area. Uh, it's not a fall protection. This is just something that's going to help you get up on that roof and do a repair. For the most part, safely, and then get back down safely. So only use them if you're uh, comfortable with it, for sure. Paul is going to make himself a ladder, and I don't think you need to use one under the first part. Hey, Paul, fix you. Did you fix your ladder the way you wanted it? The feet are not the same. Okay. Push that one up, you'll be there. Next one up. Yep. I believe you can pull it all up from there, probably. Two more feet to your right. Oh, there it goes. There you go. Yep. Beautiful. Just had to tuck it back up under there. Can you pull it up a little bit? Can you grab the bottom, see if it'll pull up when you get a chance. Right there. Yeah, like that. And then it's still not under at the yeah. top, but you yeah. can get that nailed. Thank God you're left handed. Because I couldn't reach around there for that way. Uh oh. Drop one. Drop one. I think if you stand up, you can pull that back. Yeah, right there. That's the center of it. Looks like it. Oh, yeah. It's in. That was it. Oh, can you imagine this in August doing this? No, I wouldn't want to do it. I wouldn't want to do it. That's why I say we don't work full time. I'm not going up there in uh, July and August. So we used to do it all the time. Yeah, we used to do it full time. Now we do it part time. Part time roofers, part time scrappers. We have spread our butts off up here. Yes, we have. No, it doesn't take. We've pulled our share on roofs. I promise you. Working your way down. It's a white nail. Itty bitty white nail. I see it, I see it. If I don't, I don't. No big yeah. deal. Come on down. Doesn't mean it's just a gas tank. Well, it won't work. <laughs> <laughs> it won't That's how you do it, baby. That easy. Now I'm gonna go. That was awesome, Paul. Now I'm gonna go catch him. Good deal. 